Bayanda lives with his grandparents in Umlaz. For them, the opportunity Bayanda has been given is a dream come true. I discuss Oko Kobeza, Uguti, go from the Master College, Babe Chabli, Obengaz, and Jugut Pazotini. The first thing Abay and Ugut Batale Nampanti, Bank Advisor. Time of the year again when prominent sporting legends trade their coats for a round of golf and a day of cricket sixes, all in the name of charity. The overcast weather did not dampen the spirits of those present as they signed in and prepared for a day of healthy competition on the Parkview course. With all the rugger buggers on the park, we found some cricketers to talk sense. It's magnificent, you know, any time that um, guys are giving back to the game, um, giving young kids an opportunity to fill their dreams. Um, we had dreams once as well to, uh, you know, play for South Africa, get a good edu edu education behind um, your name. And guys are contributing in various ways, and the guys have come out to support it. Um, great to see guys, you know, doing what they do and, and allowing kids um, a better life and better opportunities. A year after the inaugural Momentum Cricket Sixes was successfully launched at the picturesque Constantia Cricket Club in Cape Town, we've moved cities and activities, but the mission stays the same. With the world's top cricketers as well as sportsmen and influential corporates and personalities batting for charity again this year, as the brainchild of Graham Smith, Mark Boucher and Justin Kemp comes to life in Johannesburg with the Momentum Cricket Sixes. To tee things off this year, we're on the East Course at the Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club with a favourite pastime of businessmen and sportsmen alike. So before they chase sixes and fours, the players will be hunting for birdies and eagles as they get this year's Momentum Cricket Sixes underway. Yes, it's uh, a fish didn't show. Mark Williams is useless, so I'm playing with all the marks. So at least uh, Boucher is uh, holding the fort for now. Well, the golf, you know, I mean, we started a, a bit slow because I think we didn't have enough from the sponsors in our stomachs. But then as soon as it, it, it hit, you know, the, the, the pass came in and some birdies. But it was a long day. Unfortunately, our fourth person piece didn't come. I hope next time he can pitch up. But so far, it's, it was enjoyable. One of the Momentum Cricket Sixers hosts, along with Boucher and Justin Kemp, is Graham Smith. More accustomed to dealing with a swinging ball, Biff was more than happy to play a supporting role on the fairways. My teammates are playing extremely well. I'm playing very, very badly, but I, I think I've been incredible on the motivational support and I've, you know, I've carried their bag a little bit, picked up their balls and their tees, you know, so I'm taking care of them. But I'm hoping now in the back now that I'll contribute more as a golfer. The township of Guamashu, north of Durban, is home to 15-year-old Wyndham Dorn. Like most townships around South Africa, Guamashu is a difficult place to grow up. It is also one of the most crime-ridden townships in the province, where unemployment, drug and alcohol abuse are rife. 
Ananda lives with his loving mum and grandmother, but shares the property with almost 30 other people, including active users of illicit drugs. Wanda is privy to these social ills in his community and at his doorstep. The 60th UEFA Champions League final is in Berlin, Germany, known for its tumultuous past, but today being celebrated for reform, for change, and most definitely democracy. Now, this building, the Deutschen Volker, the German parliament, is a very popular tourist hotspot because here visitors will get a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually observe via bird's eye view what happens in Parliament. It's definitely going to be one of the popular areas as we build up uh, to the UEFA Champions League final. The city of Berlin has a deep history but is one of the world's great lessons in reinvention and renewed hope. The Berlin Wall, for so long the slab of concrete that kept people apart, now brings the city of Berlin and the world together, reminding them that good always trumps evil. Our boys, AKA and Benny, had their own insights about Berlin, Germany and its place in history. They say that all great nations are forged from a great history. We've seen the Brandenburg Gate, we've seen the Reichstag, and now we are here at one of Berlin's foremost tourist attractions. Of course, I'm talking about the Berlin Wall, a symbol of German reunification in 1989. We bumped into some of Benny, or Jeremy McCarthy's fans, from his Porto days and his Celta Vigo days. Tell us, what are your first impressions of the wall? Um, unbelievable culture, and like you said earlier, you know, all great nations have great historical. While we admire the magnificence of the venue from outside, deep inside, our roving reporters were gaining access to the most exclusive areas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are deep inside the Olympia Stadion, and as promised, your World of Champions is giving you unlimited access. Now, we are in the Barcelona change room, and one man who is no stranger to change room on UEFA Champions League final night is, of course, Benny McCarthy. The Castle Log About Your Legacy, as part of the Rhino and Safe Hands campaign, recently hosted some of the Proteus players on a weekend safari with the aim of raising awareness of rhino conservation in South Africa. I think just the peace and tranquility about being out in nature is always very satisfying and, and humbling. Um, being in touch with wild animals and, and seeing how they go about their business and, and dealing with people that work with uh, wild animals every day and understanding their passion and their thoughts about the species is, is always very satisfying. Last year, we, we raised 1.3 million rand and we bought a special uh, machine for Honest to Port Laboratory that's going to help us from a DNA tracking perspective to be able to load all the rhino onto the database. So we're really proud of that, but this year we're going to get uh, much more aggressive in terms of what we're doing. It was a, it was a privilege to be able to, to, to meet all the chaps, um, to host them, and it was also very pleasing to see how involved they got and how passionate they are actually about rhinos. Yeah, the getaway was fantastic. I mean, an opportunity to experience uh, you know, one of South Africa's great assets, the bush. Um, especially with your teammates, you know, it's a lot of guys that haven't experienced this before. So it was really lacquer to, to come and see, you know, this part of uh, South Africa, the wild, and to see the looks on guys' faces when they came up close to a lion, and like this morning uh, with, with the rhino. Renetze Magnoni. He is an 18-year-old cyclist from Durban who is showing extraordinary potential and is well on his way to becoming a professional sports person. In February 2014, Renetze competed in his first 42-kilometer race, the Hillcrest Marathon. Incredibly, he was able to win the race in a time of two hours and five minutes. Two weeks later, he competed in the Maritzburg Marathon and also went on to win that event in a time of two hours and 10 minutes. 
This is Nosipo Mbata. She too is a high school student with a promising future in sport. Nosipo currently represents KwaZulu-Natal in table tennis and rowing. It's clear that these youngsters are excelling in their chosen codes, but their journey to where they are now hasn't been easy. They are both double amputees. Branetse wasn't always disabled. His amputation resulted from injuries he sustained as a child after being victimized by a group of callous bullies. Nosipo is a congenital double below knee amputee. The support she got from her family ensured a comfortable childhood. We currently have approximately 287 children, and that's children from pre-primary up to grade 12. I always say that we're a school that follows the mainstream curriculum, but we offer support for learners with special needs. Obanair is a government school, but does rely on fundraising and donations to supplement their income. Recently, non-profit organization Jumping Kids, which supplies state-of-art prosthetic limbs to underprivileged children, chose Open Air as a beneficiary of their organization. Jumping Kids has helped more than 70 children across the country, and in 2013, through a fundraising initiative in Durban, managed to supply six of the children at Open Air, including Renetze and Nosipo. We had quite an exciting year behind us. Um, we had a project with Open Air in, in KZN, giving kids the opportunity to be kids and, and, and to mature with, with, with this kind of technology. Uh, he champion kids see you on now, Mr. Tsaren Pillay. Now, my kid, now, this is when I'm going to go to the house. 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 I, I think everybody has got a uh, legacy. Everybody wants to leave something behind. For me, working with uh, children and, and, and uh, disabled in general, it's about that legacy. And uh, if we can create a positive change and if we can create uh, the leaders of the future by, by doing something small like making a prosthesis, then I definitely think we are on the right track. Watching the hive of activity around open air's playground now, it is clear to see that no matter what circumstances we are dealt, all we need is love and a helping hand to get back on our feet. As Renetti, Nosipo and all their buddies are showing, the sun does shine again. As much as the world and society talks about disabilities, let's start talking about dream abilities, where your dreams can come true if you believe. These extraordinary young lives have all been significantly impacted by selfless support from kind and generous people, the patience of dedicated educators, as well as the simple joy of sport. Far from feeling down, things are looking up. So much so, in fact, that Renetzi, once shy and soft-spoken, is dabbling in more than just books and bike races. Here's the wrap. I'm a young man in the wheelchair, born and raised, quite much in a year of check. Yo, Kisalaga, H, Kapuna, Triple H, Kapanza, Great Cage, Kwakamu, Kane, Kenya, Kenya, Zel, Fana, Wagam, Food, Fun, Laban, Zel, Pamela, K, Tati, Remufag, and Montain, Tato, Panam, Manitza, Remufag, and Sontwain, and Kabuzo, Foodies, Oskotin, La, Irrep, Sishale, Sontwain, Check it.